Hello and welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAD Tutorials. Today we will be learning how to create orthographic projections. Our object today is C-clamp right here that you see with two holes. Now if you find these videos helpful, make sure you like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, um, comment down below and I'll answer those as soon as I can. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to start with a line. And I'm going to create my front view first. And I always like to start at 0, comma 0. So I just type in using my keyboard to 0, comma 0. And as you can see in the picture, the height of this object is going to be 3.5. And then it's going to be 2.5 across. Enter. You can you see also that the top and bottom portions are going to be 0.5 each. We'll come, over, come around from this side now. Five, enter. Go up 0.5. And if this back part's also going to be 0.5, so we'll, I'm going to go back two inches. Go up two inches on here as well. Let's see, let me go ahead and go across the other way. I want to just show you something here. Across two inches, and then all I have to do now is just go straight down, right? I technically I, I can't I don't know that dimension. If you look at my picture, technically I don't know. I could have done some math here, but it's okay. We'll just leave it as this. Let me move this over here a little bit. Alright, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna do uh, our top view. In order to do that, I'm going to have to set up my layers. So click up here, go to Layer Properties. And I'm going to create a couple layers. I'm going to create a layer for projection lines, create a layer for center lines, hidden lines, and I'm going to create a different layer for my dimensions. So this layer right here will be projection lines. This other layer right here will be, let's make this hidden lines. Let's make layer three center lines. And layer four, I'm going to call this our dimension layer. And our object lines are just going to be under the zero layer here. So O for object or zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and change dimension. So I like to my hidden lines to be yellow. Make this yellow here. You can choose whatever color you like. Go ahead and make my projection lines. My projection lines, I'm gonna be a gray color because my background is black. So I really don't wanna see these too much. These are just gonna help me build my other views. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make those gray. Uh, dimensions, you can use whatever color you like. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe make a uh, make a scion color here. And then my center lines, I'm going to make these uh, greenish color here, neon green. Press OK. okay. Now you'll notice right here under line type, I have to upload some of these line types first. So I'm going to go ahead and use the line type command. So I'm going to type LT in my command bar. LT line type. Now I'm going to load the hidden lines and I'm going to load the center lines. So scroll down, there's center lines right there. Press OK. Now I'm going to load my hidden lines. Press OK. OK. Now I'll go over here, center, change that from a continuous line to a center line. Press OK here. Change some of my hidden lines from continuous line to hidden line. So whenever I draw a line under the hidden layer, it's going to be dashed just like this. Press OK. okay. So everything looks good now that my layers are set up. We can actually get started. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change to the projection lines. So when I draw a line, it should carry the characteristics of that layer. So you can see here, I just went up for every single vertical line gets projected upward to the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy. 
my base point will be down here. All I have to do now is just click on this, all the vertical lines. All I have to do now. Now I'm going to switch it back to my object line. So my zero layer. Go back to line. And I'm going to create the top view. The top view is going to be 2.5 across, which we already know. The depth of this object will be 2. Across 2.5 here. And then this line right here, you'll see this projection line. This should be a hidden line because technically I can't see that column from my top view. So therefore, I have to indicate that with a hidden line. So now I'm going to go to my hidden line layer. And go ahead and click on that. And now you can see how it makes a line dashed. And so when I turn off my projection line, so if I go down here to the layers, and click on the little light bulb here. Here's my what my product is looking like so far. So let's go ahead and address the circle now. So turn on my, my projection lines. Go ahead and address the circle. So the circle, it says the center of the circle is located one inch across and one inch down from the corner here, from this corner. So one inch down and one inch across. So that's gonna be the center of that circle and the diameter of that circle will be 1.5. So I'm going to do a circle, and actually first I'm going to go ahead and make some lines here. These can be other projection lines. They're going to be reference. So I'm going to go down one inch, so type in one, enter, and then go across one inch, so one, enter. Okay, that's going to be the center. And then you see how the command line, you read the bottom of my screen here, it says specify the radius of a circle. So the dimension I gave you was a diameter, but AutoCAD wants a radius. So we can go ahead, we can do one of two things. We can type in 0.75, which is half of one and a half. Or I can click right here on where it says diameter, click on that, and then type in 1.5. Enter. Actually, this one should not have been done on the projection lines, but it's okay. So I don't have to erase it. All I click on that circle and say, I want that to be an object line. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to projection lines and the edges, not the right edge of the circle gets projected downward and the left edge of the circle also gets projected downward. And these right here are going to be hidden lines. So whenever I have a hole, again, the hole on the front view is hidden from view. So I indicate that by using hidden lines. All I'm doing here is clicking my space bar. My space bar allows me to go to my last command. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a shortcut here. Instead of having to do projection lines, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the AutoCAD section here to get my vertical lines there. So there's my hidden lines to indicate the hole. All this means is there's a hole. Now I have to indicate that it's a circular hole by creating center lines. So if I go to annotate, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my projection layer here. I'm going to go to annotate. There's a center mark. Click on the circle right here. And there's center lines. Click on that. Click on your two hidden lines. And it will automatically create a center line between those two. Click on this one. This one. Oops. Center line. Click on the left one, click on the right one. And there's your center line. So we said center lines were going to be a different color, so that's okay. Let's go over here, click on this center mark, click on the center line right here, center line right there. Change the layer it belongs to to center. And it creates it. Alright, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and do the 45 degree angle line to create our side view. And I'm going to go back to the projections layer. Oh, make sure I turn it on. There we go. There's a line. So that's 45 degrees. There you go, that's good. I'm clicking here spacebar. Spacebar takes me to my last command, which in this case is the line command. There we go. So project up to the 45, come down. And then 
Also, the edges in the center of the circle also get projected across. So the center is projected across. And the edges here gets projected across. That's fine if you go past it. So there's the edge. I know circles don't have edges, but you know what I mean. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and project that. All the horizontal lines on my front view also get projected across. So that horizontal line gets projected. And I can actually take a little shortcut here. I'm going to go ahead and select one. Let's go to copy. Click on this base point. All right. Click there. Click there. Looks good. Now I'm going to go to my lines, my object lines. And just go over across some of these. So there's my okay, if I was looking at this object from the side, what would it look like? I would see a rectangle, the bottom rectangle. I'll see the upper rectangle, and then I'll see a big old rectangle here in the middle, which is what we have. Now I have to indicate that there's a hole here. So to indicate there's a hole, go to my hidden lines, and that's going to be these two lines right here, there to here. Again, I'm going to take a shortcut, select that one, go to copy, enter. My base point was like the top part. So click there, click there, and there. Perfect. So there's my center lines. There's my hidden lines. I'm sorry. Now let's go ahead and create center lines. Same way we did the other one. So I'm going to get rid of these projection lines right here. Go to annotate. Annotate tab up here. Center line. Click on that. Click on that. Create a center line. Center line. That's all we have to do now. Let's go ahead and just change the layer to make sure they're in the correct layer. Go back to home center lines. All I have to do now is go to my dimensioning layer and dimension these lines here, these ob this object here. So the height we said it was 3.5. The depth of this object was 2. Make sure it's lined up. Yeah. And then we said the width of this was 2.5. Double check. There we go. Everything looks good. All right, so you will go ahead and mention all these other things like you see on my screen right here. And that's how we do this orthographic projection C clamp. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions.